Wow, look at all these devices here. I'm cool. I'm rich. I'm the gadget man. Hello everyone, it's me once again. It's been more than three or four days since I've been using this Google Pixel 3 XL and I just want to share my experience, immediate uh, experiences with you. So here it goes. Now I could go on about uh, how to unlock a phone, how efficient Google Pixel is, which iPhone is hugely failing by this facial rec recognition system, by the way. Um, but that, those are the basis. But the most important thing that I was pleased so far is that this phone was fully charged and uh, unplugged 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? Now it's almost eight o'clock in the evening and we can see that the battery is more than half percent uh, well slightly above half percent remaining and this is what I really love about this phone immediately now if we want to go to in details of how much of a percentage remaining uh, is 59 percent remaining almost eight o'clock so 14 hours later that's really impressive and I don't remember um, my fresh iPhone uh, will be the same percentage of battery remaining on day one. That's no, uh, that's the most, uh, that's really impressive. Recently, I was just fed up with my iPhone. Um, well, it was 6S and I only used it for two years, by the way. But uh, by the time when I was, when it was unlocked, 1 or 2 p.m., in the afternoon, it will drain down to 10%. So I always have to carry a charger cable with me, but I'm starting to feel this confidence that I might not need at all with this Google um, Pixel phone. Now, those who don't know, this is a Casio Protec WSD F20 smartwatch that I have actually made a lot of videos so far. <laughs> but immediately I can see a positive effect by using Google Pixel 3 XL. Now, the battery life seems to last longer. What I mean by that is, let's say if I were be using, you know, synchronized with uh, my iPhone and then have this on, by the time when I come home, five or six o'clock, the battery life will be 10, 15% remaining. I know this because I was using this daily. Now, since I synchronize it with my brand new um, Google Pixel 3 XL, it's been, what, 14 hours, and still the battery is now, um, if you don't, if you can't see it, let me just focus on here, 36% remaining. So that made me realize why uh, this is important to make such a video like this, is that Google Pixel 3 XL is a team player. Apple is not. And the reason my battery was running out on my Apple is that there's all these apps that are running on the background that Apple cannot work with. And that's why the battery was running out. I, I could see that the most heavy consuming apps were Facebook and Twitter. I mean, I got this installed on my Google Pixel 3 XL, but Google team somehow used their clever brains to make these uh, apps not draining on the background and that's impressive and and um you can and that's also a positive effect to my um smartwatch as well i know this is designed to be an android smartwatch i know many of you will have a go at me on that but still that's impressive Now, this is another product that I made a lot of video out of. It's Bang & Olufsen uh, BioPlay E8. Now, I had a huge issue with my iPhone when I was listening to uh, YouTube videos um, on my iPhone. And mainly is that if I, after I watch a video more than five minutes, it will cut off. For some reason, it will just disconnect itself. So I had to reconnect and sometimes the sound leak from the phone itself in a public train. And that's embarrass that's a big embarrassment. So I was really annoyed with that. But since I synchronized it with 
Google Pixel uh, 3 XL, I, ha I haven't actually experienced any of that. The sound quality may be slightly better, I cannot tell. Um, the sound delay is pretty much the same, I would say, or maybe slightly better. But that made me realize, overall, this phone is a team player. iPhone is not a team player. iPhone demands other apps and products to follow their own way. And they're expecting all the rest of the team, all the rest of the company to somehow kowtow to them, while as Google so is more like a team member. And don't forget all these brilliant softwares like Google Maps and um, like YouTube. Well, all those <laughs> sort of software related is originally from Google. That made me realize I feel more like using a genuine phone now comparing to Apple. And my final word would be, I know many of you would hate the bezel, but let's look into the other side of the phone which is this lens. This, I think, it summarizes everything. That Google, everyone was expecting, a lot of people, I don't, say, I don't like to say everyone, but many people expected that Google Pixel phone, the third one, Pixel 3 XL or 3, will come with two camera lenses. We heard about Samsung uh, coming up with four lenses, was it, or three lenses? LG coming up with five, and Apple, um, 10s has two cameras on the back and i think this summarize saying hang on calm down this is how you should run uh, this is how you should run a business in smartphone business and um i think that just makes a lot of sense but overall my lifestyle as an example heavily relates to google home hub smart home devices google chromecast which is connected to my smart tv i got another google home speaker and I do use a lot of Hey Google, uh, this function as well. And I'm really pleased with this phone, as I said, because it's a team member, not like arrogant uh, Apple product. And I'm, I'm just, I just got fed up because I, I just felt this Apple is not inspired anymore. While as Google, they're having a good run at the moment. So I hope to these points that I made from this video convinced you why you should consider switching from iPhone products to Google products. And I, I'm so pleased I made this decision so far. Mostly I'm impressed with the battery life and I just wanted to share that experience with you. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find, found this video to be very insightful and useful uh, for your lifestyle as well. And I'm really pleased with the way how these all together is working as a team. Thank you. Bye-bye.